Welcome back everyone to Chili with Chili Sid and I am going to do one of my favourite condiments of all time I'm doing more from Mr Vicky's It's Mr Vicky's Chili Mafia and I just want to say a quick thank you to Adam Marks who sent me the five jars that I had so Adam Marks thank you very much on the bottom of my heart these were yummy I can't wait to try these two but I'm sure they're as yummy so um in the package, I received a 10% off voucher. I just want to tell you about it. So it says, the Mr. Vicky's Chili Mafia, as we love to share our goodies, we are giving you 10% off. Yes, you heard it, 10% off. Yeah, imagine how many jars you can get. 10% off uh, your next online order. You just enter the code Happy Chili at the checkout and your discount will be applied. Right, so I have got two... Well, I'm saying they're condiments, they're pickles, because they're in the squat jars, triple H squared. There we go. And I've got the Naga King Carrot. I am just trying to get this on the camera, Naga King Carrot. Now, again, as you know, I love Mr. Vicky's, right? I can't say enough about it. I love the bottles, and I've described the bottles enough. Again, this one's bright yellow, summery yellow label, fire over along the top, very Asian sort of theme. This one's a low heat, as you can see, and bright, sunny, summery. What else can I say? Amazing jar, yeah? Now, here, Chili Mafia, and also this, the sponsors and users of the Devon Chili Men. So, Chili Mafia, are, they work with Mr. Vicky's, and they're sponsor the Devon Chili Man. So, what, what shall we say about ingredients? So, spicy chutney ingredients. Here we go. Tomatoes, sugar, onions, peppers oil vinegar ginger chili mustard and spices now you've got your mustard again is your allergen so if you're allergic to mustard avoid these okay um apart from that everybody have it so a warm tomato and onion spice chutney great with sandwiches on the pickle tray and with cold meats um, or cheese and also amazing with barbecue food so we've straight away got told how we can use this but you might find a different way of it love to hear that okay so this one is triple eight squared killer products on the bottom here look with all the lava and the bubbling you've got killer products right at the bottom I don't know if that comes up there you, you can't see it very well in the red it's in the red so you can't see it very well the heat scale is warm and again store in a cool place once open and will consume within two months mr vicky's adam mr vicky's do you think this jar will last two months in my household? Not a chance, but let's go. Okay, I'm going to just open this and wow. Wow, have a check, check out that. Wow, well, it looks divine. It actually smells divine. And look at that, guys. Absolutely amazing. Now, looking at it from here, I can see a layer of oil in it. And it. I can see mustard seeds, loyalty of seeds. And it's looking amazing. So just have a quick, again guys look at this this is not thin it's a, it's more of a pickle wow look at that absolutely yummy with all those seeds in it and it's a nice thick oh i am getting so excited by this one look at that now aroma oh my god oh my god oh my god this is divine it's it's heady that's all i can say it's heady i can smell them what did they say here tomato sugar onions peppers it's it almost smells like it's a christmasy um fruity chutney you know like that divine sugary and the fruit that you get at christmas time but it's not it's got like um we've also got mustard chili ginger you can smell all of those ingredients oh my god this is divine absolutely gorgeous oh i can't say enough now you know what i'm just gonna have nothing for this i'm just gonna go for it so I wrote, I mean, it's such a nice consistency. There's no separation. It's beautiful and lovely, rich. It's not, I wouldn't say brown, a plummy colour. Look again, look at that colour. It's not brown, it's a dull boiled colour. It's like a plummy colour. So it looks almost like a fruity, fruity chutney, but it's not fruity. You've got, again, tomato, sugar, onions, peppers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There must be a secret ingredient in this one. So, glasses off. No time to waste. Do you know what? Just go for it. This is so nice. Oh, I'm going to take a biggie spoon. I want a bit of that. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. 
ว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวอาจจะมิสเตอร์วิคิสอเมซิ่งอาบสุดอเมซิ่งน่า it's it's thick consistency there's a heat to it like a warming at the back of my neck not too overpowering it's really nice it is um it is um I'm just seeing yeah sugar now it actually tastes a bit like caramelized um, onions so it's got that lovely rich texture a lovely rich taste you've got mustard seeds floating about which I'm still chewing and when, when you get a mouthful of it it's it's the onions and the garlic and the sugar's almost caramelized and it's divine you can get that picture now it's quite like a Christmas chutney but not it's got with a twist it's a little bit warmer and it just smells heavenly it smells divine now Mr. Vicky's has recommended that you use this for what did they say is that they've said um great with sandwiches absolutely a one pickle tray yes cold meats I assume so yes um cheese balls now that definitely would go with me because that is divine on a cheese board cheese cracker you still turn a bit of this oh my god that's heaven and um I'm thinking of other places you could use it um I think it's covered all of it really I actually wouldn't put this in my foods I wouldn't put it in soups or anything like that because it'll dilute the, the thickness and the consistency of it I would have it as is pickles yeah um you can even try it with your um Indian foods you know your dippies your samosas all that sort of popper doms it'll be divine um crackers absolutely divine but definitely with cheese I think blue cheese is oh my god because it's a very very almost like a thick cranberry uh, you know Christmas time you get the cranberry um, chutneys and pickles and they're really really nice but they're more Christmassy it's not Christmassy it's that consistency but the taste is amazing you've got the whole mustard seeds in there and the whole mouthful of like caramelized onions and garlic I'm getting really hungry now <laughs> So now very nice love it as always i love mr Ricky's products and that hasn't disappointed it's absolutely amazing right put that one down let's have a look at the second one this one's supposed to be hotter actually i'll put that there so the leaflet doesn't blow away right so let's have a look at this one this one's a king naga carrot pickle now again i love the label it's not yellow and bright there we go adam mark to start off with his silhouette the labels are beautiful this green is almost sort of um environmental green King Narva Cara and Killer Products and Chili Mafia. There we go. The Hitomita comes up. That is mega hot. Oh, it says it's really hot. And this one is a condiment or a pickle. It's a carrot pickle. So it have lots of bits in it. Now, just very quickly, have a look at this. Look at the ingredients on that, guys. I mean, look at that. Wow. How? Yeah, I just hope it's in focus. There we go. So you can see all those of things. You know, you can see the fenugreek seeds. The pear bits of carrot. Oh my god, let's just have a look at the ingredients. Heat rating hot. Hot. Right, so we've got ingredients 67% UK carrots, oil, vinegar, naga chilies. We've got 10% naga chilies in here. Fenugreek, paprika, coriander, salt, mustard, and spices. Now, again, your mustard is your allergen. So, as we said with this one, kind of keep away, but I love mustard, especially the whole mustard that's in these pickles. Amazing, because you can crunch on it. Um, so award-winning Naga, uh, award-winning King Naga carrot pickle encompasses crunchy carrots in a spicy Naga achar, um, great with all foods, especially on the pickle tray. So pickles, and do you know what? This is going to go nice with cheese, isn't it? Can you just imagine it? Pickle, mm -mm -mm, cheese, mm. right? So, so that's there. Hot uh, store in a cold place. I'm sorry, but eat within two months. Are you having a laugh, Mister Vicky? Adam, are you having a laugh? This will go in no time at all. Yeah, I'll be coming around for some more. So let's just crack on with this. Wow, check this out. You see that, guys? Lovely and orange. Look at all the seeds in this. You've got your mustard seeds, your carrot, your pickle, and it's really, really nice. Um, spoon, spoon. I'm gonna mess with this. Now I'm just gonna do this. It's oh my god, the oil's in there. I'm just gonna stir it up a bit so you get the gloss of the oil coming through. Lots of big bits of carrot. So they're actually cubes of carrot, not so much like I thought it might be grated, but it's more in chunks. So have a look at that. It's more chunky carrot. Okay, so there you go. See chunky carrots, it's like that. But you can see the gloss of the oil, all the mustard seeds. Now here, um, Adam's used two types of mustard seeds. You've got the white mustard, you've got the black mustard, so it gives it that extra colour and crunch. Oh my god, do you know what? There's nothing for it. So 
Ah, qu'est-ce qu'on veut faire du creek Mmm, honey creek, oil, and the carrots don't really have a major smell, but I'm sure there's a carroty aroma there as well. So, and mustardy is a very, very Asian type smell. Now, both of these, as with all Mr. Big Vicky's products, take me back home, yeah? My mum never made this sort of carrot pickle, she made a different carrot pickle, and because she had honey greek in it as well, it takes me back home. It takes me way, way back to my childhood. Mum's cooking and I'm going to love it, I know. Right, I'm just going to take a whopping big spoon and there's nothing for it, guys. Mr. Vicky's now got a carrot pickle. Here we go, down the hatch. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, still crunching the carrots. The carrots are extremely crunchy and nice. Um, so they're not mega cooked carrots, they may be al dente, they may be half cooked, or they may be raw, right? The carrots are quite crunchy and it's really nice. Um, the other taste I could get, obviously get, definitely the mustard seed coming through and the fenugreek. Now the fenugreek in this pickle, and in a lot of Asian pickles, once it's pickled it's actually if you've never had fenugreek, it's something maybe you could try putting in pickles or something, yeah. Um, it's it's a little seed and we actually grow it and use the green leaf as well in our cooking, so fenugreek leaves. But the, the seeds we usually roast and um, grind and put in, into pickles like this and it has a characteristic slightly bitter taste. Now bitterness in pickles adds, yeah. So you might think, oh bitter, that's disgusting. No, bitterness adds, it adds with the, the chilli, the oil, the mustard, it goes really, really well. And and this one is a well balanced um, proper Indian pickle. Again, to use this one, let me just check if he's giving suggest serving suggestions. In spicy nagaj are great with all food, especially on the especially on the pickle tray. Now, the way we uh, uh, eat pickles or condiments, we'd have our curry, we'd have our plate full of food, whatever it is, and and we just put a bit on the side, yeah, and you eat that along throughout the meal and you can have more if you want to and this one will probably go quite well and um, it's just to add that breakdown in taste in your mouth you can use it to break down the flavor of your food so when you're eating something you have a bit of pickle to it and it gives it a, like a breakdown a clean taste in your mouth and a different taste and it's like sharp it's nice yeah and at the minute the heat is now it's not hot I can I lick my lips I can just feel a little tingling on my lips now obviously this is recommended to be hot for me, it's not that hot. I, I'm liking the flavour, the crunch, and it's really nice. If you like carrots, try this carrot pickle, yeah? If you don't like carrots, give it a go, because you never know. You might discover something really, really good. So, um, flavour-wise, oh, you know I love Mr. Ricky's products, yeah? I'm going to give both of these a very high score, 9, 10, up there, because they're just divine. Now, heat-wise, this one was very, very mild. And it was more like a tamarind type pickle, so it was tangy, kind of sweet, kind of caramelized, oniony, um, really nice with cheese. And for heat wise, it probably be it's, it's actually got a low heat scale on there, so I'll probably say zero one, but more flavor than anything else. And the consistency is more like a, a jam or a chutney that is really, really um, soft. Yeah, this one the heat actually is quite high, so. For me, personally, I'd, I'd say there's no heat, it's, it's just like um, a mixture in taste, a flavour. But anybody who doesn't eat a lot of hot food, this is it's, the heatometer is quite high, so this might be like a 9, 8, 9 up there. If you eat hot food, it might, be, it might come down to 4 or 5. Um, and if you eat it like me, then you might just think of it as a flavour. Uh, the crunch is really, really nice, the texture is really nice. It's a, it's got like um, a slightly, obviously the fenugreek makes it like a slimy texture. It's like, I wouldn't say slimy in a horrible way, but really nice in terms of in your mouth, yeah. Um, so I love them both. Thank you very much, Adam, for sending these to me. And I still have two more to review. One of the ones Adam sent me was a jam, chili jam. And I picked up another one, which um, I'm itching to try. It's the banana habanero pickle, yeah? Can't wait to try that one. Just a combination of a banana and habanero. Can't wait to open that bottle. But these ones won't last long. By the time I've reviewed those, these are gone. So, the 
you like any of these two products, Mr. Vicky's, uh, Chili Mafia, Carrot King Naga Pickle, or Triple H Squared Pickle, you know what to do, yeah? Order, 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 like, subscribe, and link all the links in the description. Don't forget, guys, your 10% off voucher as well. So when you're ordering online, you get 10% off. If you order three or four jars, you might even get one for free because that's what your 10% will give you. Um, thank you very much for watching.